module 5 oscillators an oscillator is an electronic circuit that generates a continuous periodic waveform without the requirement of an external signal they are essential for many electronic circuits systems and they are mainly used to generate clock signals audio signals radio frequencies and many more Oscillator takes DC power source and converts it into time varying AC signal. The main applications include signal generation, clock generation for digital circuits, radio transmitters, receivers, tone generation in audio circuits, and timing circuits in microprocessors and microcontrollers. Oscillators can mainly be classified into two main categories. According to the output wave shapes, they are sinusoidal and non sinusoidal. Sine wave generators produce signals ranging from low audio frequencies to ultra high radio and microwave frequencies. There, here, many low frequency generators use resistors and capacitors to form their frequency determining network and such oscillators we will call as RC oscillators. But when we come to the case of LC oscillator, they use tank circuits commonly used for higher radio frequencies and in this case we will go for inductors and capacitors for, uh, for its frequency determining network. Amplifying device. This can be a transistor or pump or a logic gate. The active element provides the necessary gain to sustain oscillations. Feedback network. This network provides feedback from the output back to the input. The feedback is crucial for sustaining oscillations. Frequency determining network. It involves passive components like resistors, capacitors, inductors. The frequency of oscillation is determined by the time constant of this network. Oscillators operate based on positive feedback. The basic principle is that the output of the amplifier is fed back to the input. And the circuit must meet specific conditions to sustain the oscillations. Now, what are the conditions for oscillations? To initiate and sustain oscillations, the circuit must satisfy Broca's criteria. Loop gain should be greater than 1. The gain of the amplifier and feedback network must be high enough to overcome any losses in the circuit. Phase shift of 0 degree or this SSD degree. The feedback signal must be in phase with the input signal. Or in other words, we can say it should have a total phase shift of 360 degree over one complete cycle. Positive feedback. Positive feedback means that a portion of the output is fed back into the input in such a way that it reinforces the input signal. This causes the system to self-sustain without requiring a continuous external signal. Startup. The circuit starts oscillating when a small disturbance in the circuit gets amplified and the positive feedback sustains this disturbance as a periodic wave.